Hello everyone. I'm going to set up for my December uh, budget and I am going to use um, this kind of Franken-planned planner that I set up and it's using the new dashboard layout um, insert extension pack and I went ahead and set up for the month of December. I had decided that I was going to use this for a work planner because I think um, the way my job is laid out and the way my job tasks go, I think this layout right here would be uh, perfect to use as a work planner. And um, But I can track weekly my emails and phone calls and things that I have to follow up on day to day. So I was thinking that I would just use the monthly um, just to uh, set up my budget. And so I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to start in December. And I'm going to be using this budget um, accessory pack. It has the little um, journal cards and then some stickers and then the little sticky notes, which I've already used two of the little sticky notes right here just to jot down some new things. Well, paydays and then a new bill that's going to be added to my monthly expenses that I don't currently have in my November. And I have my current planner set to the side with my November bills just so that I can know what day to put them down on. So I'm going to start by doing that and putting my stickers down where they belong. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to first mark my two paydays. I get paid every two weeks. So I'm going to mark those days, which are the 14th. And the 28th. And it would probably be easier. To pull these out. I don't know why I didn't already do that. this out of the way there okay so I'm just gonna see again what they have in here um, let's see I get groceries on the days on the weeks that I get paid so I'm gonna stick a little grocery sticker on the 14th and the 28th To from this little accessory pack. I'm going to use these stickers. Rant, of course, due on the first. Let's see, some of them I know by heart. I don't even have to refer to November. But since we moved in October, We've taken on some um, credit card bills. Let's see. That's my car insurance is due the 28th. Let's see. I have the 8th and the 10th. Oh, I put that all kind of crooked. So I've seen from videos on YouTube that a lot of people are trying out this new dashboard layout. But I haven't heard a whole lot of feedback as far as if everyone is loving them and how much they are loving them. 
so I would be curious to know about that. Are you loving the dashboard layout? Are you finding it a little more challenging to decorate it? I mean, it seems to me like the way it's laid out, it's pretty functional on its own. So if you're just looking for a functional planner, it looks like it probably does the job. But for those who love to decorate and utilize their stickers and their creativity, I'm just curious. And since I have the sticky note, this is a brand new bill to me. Well, I mean, it's not a brand new bill to me, but I've been in school. My student loan has been in forbearance. And so it's now coming out of forbearance. And so now I have to start paying it. And I haven't paid on my student loan in over a year. So I just have to remember to get back in the habit of doing that because it's just not a habit that I have right now. Let's see. Got this cell phone bill. Just the 14th. See, some of these days overlap each other, but that's okay. I'm going to add on this little, I don't think I can write on this little um, savings, the little piggy bank savings. But every time I get paid, I have it set up to have some money going into my credit union savings account. So, that's one good thing. Um, let's see here. Credit. I got three credit card stickers. Um, the water bill, the light bill, we don't have a gas bill, like a, I think that's like a natural gas. Um, but the water bill and the light bill, those are um, utilities that Henry covers. So, I may see if he wants to use those stickers. Well, probably not. I'll just save. Let's see. He might, he might use them. I just set him up a, a budget planner. He's not really much concerned about using stickers in his planner as much as just wanting a sticker. Look at there, I have bills, the first, second, and third credit card payments. That's ridiculous. See, I've got to get some of these credit cards paid back off. It's crazy, it's craziness. So, now I just gotta, oh, these are cute little Bill Do stickers. Let's see, on the first, I have two bills. The second, I have one. The third, I have one. Let's see, actually, I'm gonna have a Target bill, and I don't know what day the Target bill is due. So, I'll have to figure that one out. But I'll use these. The sixth. The eighth I have. The tenth I have down here. The fourteenth I have. Um, let's see, the seventeenth. I have something on the seventeenth. Goodness. And the 
18th. I'm going to have to use these. Um, this is craziness, all these bills. So I got to the 18th. So I have one due on the 19th. The 20th, I have two bills. Okay. The 21st, I have two bills. And the problem is on the 21st is that's two bills, credit card bills. Same credit card, two different cards, Capital One, Capital One both do on the same day. Oh, mercy. The 23rd, I have a bill. Oh, this is a split month right here. But I don't have anything due on the 30th, so that's okay. That's okay. The 25th, I have something due the 25th. Let's see. On the 27th. Nothing the 26th, the 27th. Let's see. The 28th, I have two bills. Oh my goodness, and that's a that's a day that I get groceries and get gas. I can put the gas to Saturday, but I have a credit card bill due here also. So, okay, there, 29th. So, I saw gas. I saw the little gasoline tanks right here. So, on the 14th, we'll get gas, and the, I guess we'll say on the 29th, I'll get gas. There. Let's see here if there's anything else. I'm going to use some of these little stickers. I got these two pink, so I'm just going to keep this whole pink theme going here. Focus on the good. <sighs> There's not really that many days that I don't have something. little live on less. I gotta start doing better, 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 better with my budget. For sure. Let's see. And do I want... Let's see. I need one of these sweet little quotes over here. weekly expenses. This is a monthly layout though, so that wouldn't really work too much. But kind of like this right here. Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. I'm going to put that because this is like really my new 
goal that I'm really trying to focus on more is um, being more diligent with putting this stuff into savings and leaving it there. I um, have a terrible habit of directing money out of my pay into my savings account and then I spend more money than I think I'm gonna spend and then I come back and move the money out of my savings account and put it right back into my checking account for my money to spend. Terrible, 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 terrible. So let's see these uh, cards, priorities this month. Kind of like that. Maybe I should just start with that one. Needs and wants. Let's see. Start each day with a grateful heart. That's nice. But I think I may just start out um, weekly expenses. Oh, weekly expenses and then priorities. But I don't really have, I guess like you could track, like if you spend money through the week, I could use one of those and then still have a goal. I could work on that for sure. I think I'll use that one. So now what I need to do because the one thing different is in the, the budget extension packs that I use, um, you've got your monthly and then on the back is like your bill pay check. And then I go through and mark off each month when they're done. Now, obviously with this, I'm not gonna have that. So I'm just gonna have to make sure that I check them throughout the month or each week, I, each week, um, when I set up for my work week, I can log what bills are due and then I can check them off from there. Either way, as long as I make sure that I'm checking them, that's the important thing. And then I need to, this is where I top priorities. And this is where I need to like really put in that I'm going to have a no spend. Like I have got to quit like just reckless spending savings for sure and these go in line with my goals my goals and the priorities um but anyway my goals my goals my goals for december and it's so hard to set a budget goal as far as savings in december because you got christmas shopping so that's extra money that you're spending that you're not normally spending every month and then aside from shopping and buying everybody something, then you want to, um, you know, go buy pretty new Christmas decorations. Then there's food, extra food for the holidays. So I don't know. I'm just gonna log these bills that are due. And I usually just, since I work from home, usually $20 out of each paycheck is usually enough gas for me to run around Fort Myers on. Uh, the beach is close whenever we decide to go to the beach and most of the time through the week, I don't ever leave the house. So it's not really ever a priority to have a lot of gas money. But I do try to at least set a $50 um, budget for food. So let's see, the 21st. the 
28. This. And this is the only thing I logged down. Like, Henry pays the utilities. I put down the whole amount of the cell phone bill and the car insurance, but Henry helps with those. So I don't pay those, those full amounts by myself, but I just go ahead and put them in there. Let's see, the 28th. Um, I got that wrong. It was PayPal was due the 27th and credit one was due the 28th, so I'll just swap them right here. Cause, well, no, I should change that because I don't want to pay that a day late. But I don't know if that sticker's gonna peel up easily. I sat here with my list to go by and I still messed up. It's crazy. Why you gotta be so crazy, girl? Okay. So, PayPal's due the 27th, which is only one day difference, but I sure wouldn't want to pay it one day late, so I'll pay it out of the 14th. So, And okay, so I think oh no, there was something else on the twentieth. Oh, here we go. So I think that's everything for that month. And then the second. And then the tenth. It's Amazon Prime. And the seventeenth. What did I have for the 17th? Because I don't even have anything on my list. This is 34. Oh, I know what I did. I messed up. On the 17th, I had a payment due on my eBay credit card. And I paid that off. So I don't even have a balance now. So this one on the 17th is... I don't even owe that. Which is great. But I put something down on the 18th too. And I don't see... What did I have on the 18th was, oh, Apple TV. Okay. And that's only $5. That's good. So, what do we got on the 23rd is K. And then the 25th. which is $25. All these little credit cards, they're just gonna keep adding up. Well, this is like all real congested right here. That's just too much, too much bills right there going on. But I think that's it. State Farm and State Farm. Anyway. So I don't have this eBay credit on the 17th, but I'm gonna leave that space there because I got a, a credit card and it has a one of those annual fees. I just got it the other day, but it has an annual fee. And so the annual fee is already added to it. 
So I haven't used it, but I don't know what the due date's gonna be on it. So I may use that space to pay off that annual fee for that card, or at least pay some on the annual fee. And yeah, I'm just looking back over November and I really think that's it. So I've got my savings. And then, so I'm just gonna set this little, I guess I'll just use this throughout the week, like any money that I spend that is in addition to this, not counting groceries or gas, but like if we go to the beach, it costs $2 an hour to park there. So that would be an expense um, if I went and bought shampoo conditioner that would be an expense if i decide to make an order from grove collaborative or anything like that would be an expense so i'll just save that and track that as the week goes now my goals for the month is going to be my first goal is going to be my savings I've got to leave the money in my savings account when it goes there and stop moving it. My second, oh, that doesn't say goals. It says top priorities, and this says top priorities. So we're just going to mirror these, I guess. So my savings. So I'm just going to put $50 because with the holidays coming up and we move, I did change the savings, the amount of my check that gets um, direct deposited to my savings account to $25 a paycheck. So that would be $50 going into my savings and I'm gonna leave that alone. And then what else did I say? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a no planner spend. No spending on planner supplies. Because honestly, in the past month, I have spent an absolute shameless amount of money on sticker books and planner accessories, and I gotta quit. Okay, so that's my second priority. And so what's gonna be my last one? Um, you know what? I'm going to do credit card debt. I'm going to work on setting up a page with all my credit card accounts and how much are all of my credit card balances. And I'm going to start working on getting a debt snowball going. So I can get those credit card bills paid down, those balances. So that's going to be my little journaling card. And I will, like I said, track that each day as the week goes by. So I think this is going to be it. That's definitely plenty. I just need to go back in and check that new card and see. I'm going to put this back into the planner. I think, I think this is gonna work out for me because I have the whole, I have all of my debts there and a monthly glance and then each week as the week goes by, so like the first, and the second is right there, so I can go through this and put, you know, like my rent, a credit card payment, and another credit card payment. And then this starts the third through the ninth, so on the bills to pay, I can pick up from here. I got one, two, three, four, four to go. So you get the idea. I'm just gonna track them week by week. And then, actually, 
this weekly expense should go right here, wouldn't you think? Okay. So, this Friday right here will be payday. Okay. Anyway, I think I've got it figured out. And so this is going to be um, my budget set up for December. And then I'll just come through on the 14th. Well, actually out of my last paycheck of November, which is, what is this, the 30th? Yeah, the 30th. I will be paying all of these on this first week. So everything from the 1st to the 8th will be paid out of my paycheck on the 30th. And then on the 14th, I will come in and pay everything from the 14th up to the 28th. And then on the 28th, I will start covering the first expenses in January. So I guess that's it right there. I appreciate you watching and I would appreciate and welcome any feedback that you have and have an amazing day. Bye.